Hey guys, head over to our Patreon for exclusive content. Ooh. And early access. Ah. We appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you there. Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. So uh, I we are back to Iron Maiden. You know, we just been getting back to some bands where it's been too long. Right. Yeah. You know, we have to reward those people that watch those videos. Facts. And Iron Maiden has hit for us. Now the first time we did Hallowed Be Thy Name, which is an epic song. Yeah, still my favorite. <laughs> and the second time, because everyone told us to do live, we did Fear of the Dark, live and real. Now, I like that one. Oh, that really? one was fine. Yeah, that one was fun. Now, the first time, I mentioned that I was never a fan of Bruce Dickinson's vocals. And there were a few people that got on me. So in the second video, before we started, I went on like a three-minute rant saying how that shouldn't matter. You don't have to like the vocals to like the music. And now, when we get mean comments, most of the time, we just try to ignore them. I'm not going to sit here and tell you every time. You know, sometimes we do respond, but most of the time it's like, if you're just going to be a jerk, just whatever. But with that being said, I liked his vocals better live. I can't really tell you why. They just sounded better live. <laughs> you and I have heard a few songs from yeah, Maiden. I think maybe one or two more. I've heard maybe like four or five. But when it comes to the live versions, none of us have seen these videos. So every time we do Maiden, it'll be a triple reaction. So the song today is Ace is High. We're doing live, and this is from their Flight 666 tour, before people get any ideas. They have a song called Number of the Beast, which mentions the devil, and they do say 666. So I'm guessing that's where yeah. that stemmed from. Let me just get this off the table, and I'm sure 99% of you already know this, but Iron Maiden is not a satanic band, okay? I mean, the Bible has been around since... The beginning of time. There are tons of stories about it, and this just happens to be in some of their music. I mean, that, that's all it is, guys. By the way, I actually read that uh, some of them, if not all, are Christian. Please just keep your satanic thoughts and accusations to yourself. I just have to get that out of the way. Now, these songs' lyrics are written from the viewpoint of a British RAF pilot fighting during the Battle of Britain in 1940, which was the first military engagement to be fought entirely with aircraft, which is kind of scary when you think about it. <laughs> Apparently, this song was on the Madden NFL 10 soundtrack. Yeah, I think I've seen this name. Well, I, I don't remember the song, but I've seen the name. I've heard this song, the studio version, but again... Any of the live versions I have not seen or heard. But I went back and looked up the Madden 10 soundtrack, and I was like, wow. I don't remember it being that great. It's probably the best soundtrack of all time yeah. on Madden, if you ask me. I mean, wh whoever came up with that, they need to do all of these Maddens. They need to do all the sports games. Incredible soundtrack. This song was frequently used as the opening song for their concerts, and it's the opener on their fifth album, Power Slave, released in 1984, which went platinum. This particular performance happened in India in 2008. Let's do it, man. Back to Iron Maiden. Ace is high. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Damn. Whoa. Is Kendra walking off stage? Oh, that's cool. It's like old audio. So yeah, it's the opener here too, obviously.
I get it now. I get yeah. it now. I mean, no offense to the studio versions, but it just doesn't add up yeah. to the concerts. There is a billion people there. <laughs> it seems like every concert they have, this is a hundred thousand, thousands of people there. We know that India is passionate about music. Mm-hmm. If you don't believe us, go to the Alip Batat video. It's right, right there. Just, yeah, same area, yeah. And when you see the crowd shifting, I know you saw like all yeah. those bodies moving. That's when you know it's a great concert because nobody can sit still. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody cares. They're just... <sighs> yeah, yeah. Acting you know? crazy. And I saw that when Bruce came out, there was a guy in front like, Oh my God, it's Bruce! <laughs> like he couldn't believe it. <laughs> And then Bruce came out and did a jump man. I yeah. mean, he looked like the Jordan logo. <laughs> it's like, my God, like they have to be around 50 here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have more energy than I do. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. I like how they're just casually walking up to the stage. Like they're just, oh, you know, we ain't got no concert. Dude, just gonna walk up. Even though this video we're listening to, the vocals are kind of, the, they are back. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I can barely hear the guy sure. singing. Yeah. But I can still tell that I like his vocals better live. I don't mm-hmm. know what, maybe it's the pitch. I'm not really sure, but mm-hmm. I just like it better live. I like the harmonies with the vocals and the guitar, you know, playing that same pattern. And at the end of those chords, you can really hear the bass shine. And that drummer, we said this last time, I think his name is Nico. He really does look like the most effortless drummer ever. I mean, it looks like he's like barely <laughs> hitting it. Yeah. It's like he's a 100 year old. He's not man. moving his body and he's just. <laughs> It's just hands. It's all in the wrist, baby. <laughs> this is fun. Like, I don't care if you really don't like metal or you're not really into this song. You cannot tell me that this wouldn't be a good time. Yeah, he killed that. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I like that feel. Oh, my God. Whoa! Gong! The Gong Show! Oh, man. Look at him. he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that transition is going to yeah. the fire. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this harmony right here. Mm-hmm. Hey. See the crowd just yeah. back and forth? Yeah, the bass. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's fine. Got that echo on his voice? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. (laughs) 
Crowd goes wild. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Great performance. Yeah, that was a great performance. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was lit. I would love to be in that, just pushing everybody. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Who slipped Bruce some five hour energy? Yeah. Uh, my goodness. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. With this kind of song, you got to have energy for the song. Because, I mean, they, were, they said he came out just banging. Just he was <laughs> all over the stage. Yeah. Came in with the gong. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, that's my gong. thing. The gong. Hey, is that back. would be Tyler instead. I would yeah. hit that gong. Where's hard. the gong heads? <laughs> Give me the gong. Bruce was so animated, though. Yeah. It's like Tasmanian Devil <laughs> all over the place. He probably did six jump mans. He did Off really that one did. little edge, you yeah. just yeah, kick the air. I'm gonna he jump again. Did. I'm doing it again. Yeah, <laughs> I get it though. Now I can see why this band has such a cult following because the live performances are just insane. Just look at the crowd. If the crowd is acting like that, you know they're doing something good. And I feel like a lot of bands can uh, take note from them. Like this is what a concert should be like. A concert yeah. should be one of the most unforgettable moments of your life. And the fact that they have the synergy with the crowd, I mean, it feels like a family. Mm -hmm. It really does. When when they can match the energy of the crowd, I mean, that's, that's what I look for at a concert. So I thought that was excellent. Yeah. I think I've actually heard the song before somewhere, some way, because I kind of remember parts. If people are singing songs in English and they really don't even know English, like, do we know if these people actually know English? Right, right. And they're singing the song, and, you know, it's just crazy. Now, I'm going to say, I think I still like, uh, was it Fear, Fear of the Dark? Dark? I think I still like Fear of the Dark better. Yeah. But this Fear is good, though. Fear of the Dark. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just, yeah, that song is just <laughs> in my heart right now for this band. This song was good with the performance. I think the performance, like, really yeah. took, like, uh. Live is better. Yeah, the live is just. Epic better. chorus. I mean, again, with the crowd singing it. Yeah, that was. Live to fly. And then Bruce hit that note at the end. <laughs> Which was yeah he went nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh dude, my thought, goodness. Dude, I thought he wasn't even doing it. I thought he was just acting. I could, I could barely no, hear him yeah, doing it. Yeah, he could barely I was like, why is he screaming? <laughs> I know you're not coming out. Yeah. But he was, yeah, he was screaming top of his lungs, literally. I never really noticed before. I mean, obviously, this band has influenced a ton of bands. Like, just take your pick on a metal band, and they influence them in some way. I can hear a Vin Sevenfold. For sure, I think what I'm what I'm hearing most is the harmonies with yeah, the guitar yeah, yeah. and the lead. I think that you can tell that had an influence on. Yeah, you. it did. Just like with the Vin Sevenfold, I feel like their music just kind of takes you on a voyage. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's going to be a smooth ride, sometimes a bumpy ride, but you're in for a ride. They're going to get you to your destination. I just appreciate them. One of the OGs. So leave the comments and suggestions down below. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.